Hi guys, this is Ting and Kathy with American Ghost Adventures. We're here in Deland, Florida. We are going to investigate this great building right behind us. It's called the Athens Theater. You've probably heard about it when you were on Kathy's tour. If you have not made it out this way, it's gonna be a real treat for you. So we're gonna go inside, find out who's still haunting this building. So stay tuned to find out. The Athens Theater is a fully restored historical theater. Once the centerpiece of Deland, this red brick beauty is a jewel of Italian Renaissance architecture. The historic theater was designed in 1921 by Murray S. King and first opened its door on January 6, 1922. From the pictures, you can see they try to keep it as authentic as possible. The theater is quite haunted and has many stories to it. The sound booth, when people are up there, will tell you they get touched and they hear footsteps, they hear voices. Throughout the theater, you'll feel cold spots where there's no air conditioning vents and strange feelings of being watched. Hi, I'm Kathy with American Ghost Adventures. I'm your lead tour guide down here in downtown Deland. We're here in front of the Athens Theater, and one of the stories I like to tell about the Athens Theater involves a lead actress who was in lead in the majority of the uh, shows here. She was having an affair with the stage manager, and his wife came one, day, one af evening after a performance to confront her. The wife picked up a candlestick that was a prop candlestick and ended up hitting the girl, which caused her to uh, get a head injury and die right back in, the, in her dressing room. This, as the story goes, that's her dressing room and she does not like other people in her dressing room. So she either makes it very, very cold or the room is very, very hot and she takes total control of the temperature in that room. One of the other stories I know about for here involves one of the renovations back in the 70s and this was a stagehand who was working with the company doing the reservation ren renovations. He was upstairs in the balcony area and he fell over the railing and was hung up by a safety belt. And by the time they reached him to try to get him back over the top, the safety belt broke and he fell to the ground and was killed in the, the drop of the 20 foot drop from the uh, balcony. They say that if you're up in the balcony by yourself, you can feel it sway, which is the swaying of him with his safety belt before the safety belt broke. During our investigations of the Athens Theater, we were granted permission to different areas and parts of the theater itself. We went into the box office, the bathrooms, the theater, the backstage area, dressing rooms, storage areas, basements, and even the catwalk. During our investigation, we can tell you there were some uncomfortable feelings in certain areas. It was great to hear stories from the staff themselves telling us what they witnessed and experienced and what they felt. We got movement of equipment. In one of the pictures, you'll see a, a laser grid light being set up. And in that area, we actually had the grid light moved on us. I was looking to debunk one of the pictures that I had taken where it was perfectly fine the first picture. The second picture was a huge glow, so I thought it might have been a glare from the light. But by the third picture, it was normal again. And as I was talking and debunking it with one of the other investigators, the whole grid light moved. So we're at the Athens Theater. We're up in the catwalk area and we're ghost hunting tonight. The girls have their meters in their hands. <laughs> so we've already got some activities and uh, they said this area is pretty scary. Um, if you're terrified of heights, it absolutely is. There's Kathy and Debbie downstairs. And you can see that we're up here in the curtain area. And so we're gonna investigate up here because they said this is one of the scarier areas for them. And I will tell you, this is how we had to climb up. It's a nice little ladder there, you see? And there's no safety areas and there's a little ledge right here but yeah we're gonna have some fun and i'll let you guys know what we find up here and if there's anything super scary we'll talk to you guys soon
So we're getting flashlight activity in the downstairs basement area of the Athens Theater. We have our um, laser lights on right now. And you can see that bright light is our flashlight. Kathy's over here asking questions. And you can see the flashlight about to go off. Thank you. And in the background is the employees. So just so you guys don't think that's apparitions. So we're going downstairs to the basement area where Debbie is actually doing some questioning. You said you had flashlight activity? Yeah, this one's been coming up. And, and have you noticed that's the room I said I was attracted to somebody in there? Yeah, they took them a while. They just worn up their thigh. I know they're down here. We feel we feel someone's over here too. And the bear was blipping a little bit. So if, if you're the only spirit down in here in this area with us, do you think that might be right now, please? Is there anyone else who's all here with us? If there are at least two spirits down here, we want to find someone up over here. Three spirits. I think you went downstairs to Debbie. Yeah. Hey, I'm Kathy with American Ghost Adventures, and this is Debbie, Hi. who is also one of our tour guides with American Ghost Adventures. And we just finished an investigation inside the Athens Theater. It was very exciting for us to finally get inside. What we learned is the stories that we had were merely urban legends. What we have found out is there's at least five spirits in that building. There's one in the projection booth. There's a couple backstage. There's a couple even downstairs in the basement. Very exciting place to go. And keep an eye on our website, www.americanghostadventures.com, and look for new exciting adventures to happen here in Deland.